Welcome to Obsidian TTRPGTutorials.com. Let's learn how to use the tool. All right, g'day guys, and welcome back today to another Obsidian video. Today we're going to be having a look at my NPC template, or um, you know, my character template. And I've been uh, obviously I've got this one in front of me, available to my patrons via the Patreon Vault. Um, and I've basically been like just working on this, trying to make it better. Um, and I've come up with this one here which is uh, still not finished, but I'm, I'm starting to add in all these uh, Metabind drop downs to make it so you can pick things up easier and uh, you know fill in your character sheet. I gotta admit, I probably won't use this myself. I, I don't go into this much detail with my characters, but uh, that's because I tend to run characters out of a book where the details are provided and I just don't need birthdays and date of deaths and all that sort of stuff. But I know the world builders and the, the really entwined storytellers will, so thought we'd have a crack at it and while I was making this I was like oh I really wish I had a relationship chart all right because I thought there's always been a gap in the obsidian plug-in realm space thing and that is in my mind relationships all right anyone who's played with um, any sort of historic game will know you know family trees are a thing and it would be lovely to have some sort of plug-in that visualizes character family trees based on some properties in a notes um but, you know, it's, it's not something I've ever seen made. Uh, we've got access to Mermaid. Excuse me. Uh, we've got access to Excaladraw, uh, Canvas. There's a thing called Breadcrumbs, but nothing's ever really scratched that itch for me. Um, it's always been very manual, right? If you wanted to do these, um, these relationships and you kind of like, for me, I didn't like Breadcrumbs. I didn't like the way it looked. I didn't like the way it worked. Mermaid, I found, was just too much of its own language I, I didn't like writing mermaid i found i always forgot how to write mermaid when i was doing it so to do a relationship chart was always like tools down go and figure out how to write this thing and it was just too much work um so i'd usually use excaladraw which I, I like working with it's easy but it's very manual right you just you're, you're dragging out those things yourself and it's not something that i w i find myself using enough to to you know have really gone out of my way to find a solution but um I started making this character sheet and like I was putting all the buttons and the drop downs and just bringing out, you know, the elements of what I would think I should need to track. And I got to this point where I was like, oh, relationships, here we go again. Like, I'm just not happy with relationships, what I do. Anyway, I got Googling. I was like, oh, what if you could make a dynamic mermaid chart? And, you know, something that updates automatically using some form of JavaScript, because I know JavaScript can write text and then Obsidian can pass that text into the plugin languages and all that sort of stuff. And that's a thing that I've seen done before and got Googling, found someone online who'd actually created a solution, right? It was a dynamic, um, dynamic mermaid chart based on some properties. So I took that and I started having a chat with ChatGPT, all right? So using the AI, um, I can't code JavaScript. Right? Let's just be 100% clear. I just do not know that language. I'm terrible at it, um, which means I, you know, kind of got my hands tied behind my back when I want to develop something for my vault in Obsidian. Right? I'm very reliant on other people. Uh, but ChatGPT, um, well, actually, I started with Google AI, whatever that thing's called. Um, but that wasn't up to the job, and I had to move to ChatGPT. ChatGPT was able to pull it off. And it basically involved me just going back and forth for like probably four hours, maybe six hours. I don't know. We talked all day, me and this AI. Going back and forth going, I want to do this. Can you create me a relationship chart using Mermaid? All right. And this is Mermaid here. So using Mermaid, I want a left to right um, chart that basically maps out from this note the relationships based on some properties. And I started out with um, parent one and parent two in the properties of the note. I would type in the name and I, I gave that to ChatGPT and said, all right, can you create a mermaid chart that connects parent one to this note and parent two to this note? And then I added in children and then we started with siblings. We started going through this way. What I found though was that <clears throat> it was very hard coded, right? So there was a parent one, there was a parent two children. I put one, two and three. And then I got thinking, I was like, oh, what have I done here? Um, I can't have one child right i've hard coded it to work for three what if i've got four children what if i got five like are people going to need to change the code in this thing to make it work for how many children they've got i was like oh we're getting too complex and then i started having chats with chat gpt going can you make it dynamic right if parent one is filled and parent two is not then populate to one parent and whatever 
Um, and eventually got all the way through that and I was like, oh, I think I've, I've shoehorned myself again. This isn't good. What do I need to do? And I finally set it on the fact that I need to convert this to a list. All right. So what I've done is I've basically in the properties of the note gone and created these lists and you can tell the difference here, like this icon here tells us that this property is a text property. This one here tells us that this is a list property and a list property can have more than one element. And I was chatting to chat GPT and I said, all right, let's make this work off a list. So check this out. If I have this, right? Um, if we come in here, we put Frank the Tank in as a parent. We come down here and Frank is now updated. Walla, look at that. How cool is that? Right? And I can do that with anything, right? Let's say they pop out another kid. Mistake number two. Come down here. We got children, mistake number two, automatically updates, right? How cool is that? So chat GPT was able to do this for me. Um, we went back and forth a whole lot on the visualization of this for a while. I like the children was linked, but none of the others were. And one of these wasn't linking. It was a whole thing, but we, we got there four to six hours. I don't know. It was a long time. We got there eventually in the end. And now I can make this code available for you guys. All right. So let's just break this down. How does it work? It's working on the properties. All right. So we have parents, children, enemies, allies, siblings, and partner. All right. If you want to have someone who's got more than um, one partner, um, we can do that. All right. It's basically anything that's added to the list gets added to here. Um, and basically we, we just have these properties in the notes. All right. And then it relies on those properties. So parents, children, enemies, allies, siblings, partner. Um, and it basically will just go through and it will read that and it will create a note. Um, something that's actually really cool about this is if we were to, let's say, create a, uh, person, uh, we've got Jasmine. Jasmine is linked. All right. See here, we have a note for Jasmine. All right, if we go back and we have a look at Jasmine's link, where is she? Jasmine, 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 where are you hiding? Oh, I think we actually have to put Jasmine in. Okay, so let's put Jasmine down as a child. If we come down here, children will update. We have Jasmine and we can see that this now links to whatever is in that Jasmine note. All right, so if we get rid of this, this is the content of Jasmine and we go back and we now hold our map over here. Oh, what are we actually? Oh, there's another Jasmine. Sorry. I'm going to delete that one. All right. So we have Jasmine parent two. Jasmine is a child and we go back. We can now hold our mouse over here and we can see Jasmine is a child. All right. You can actually see which ones have linked. Okay by the coloring. I'm not sure why that just changed, but that certainly does make it easier. So if you have a note that matches the same name, right, as whatever you put in here, the linking will work and you can go back and forth and you can make a linked relationship chart. All right. Um, and all you need to do is have those properties in your note. And then in edit mode, we've got some code here. You'll need to copy this into your note. Now to make this nice and easy, what I've done is I've from my obsidian TTRPG tutorials.com website, I've added in the data view.js dynamic mermaid relationship chart. All right. It's just, it's been recently added. Whenever I make a change guys, anything new is added over here on the right. Anything updated is edited over here. All right. But you can click through to there and you can obviously now come through and there's a bit of a tutorial here on what it looks like. All right. The properties that you need to have, what it's going to look like, the plugins that you need. All right. You do need Java, Java view. All right. And just a, a note here, JavaScript queries needs to be enabled. So if we actually come back here and go settings and go data view, we can actually see enabled Java, uh, JavaScript queries is enabled. That one does need to be enabled. I recommend the JavaScript queries in line as well. Um, that needs to be enabled. Uh, lost the website. And then if we come down here, here is the code. Basically, I mean, you can copy this, copy this over um, and basically put that straight into your note. All right. Make sure you paste it with a control shift V instead of control V. If you do control V, it screws the formatting up and it won't work. Um, and then, yeah, you can basically get that out of your note. Um, I have put a thing on there like how can I change this for my own needs? Because I know one of you is going to want to add something that I haven't added. 
right? Go and have a chat with ChatGPT, right? Copy this code in and say, hey, here's my code. I want to add this. Can you try it for me? Because I don't know how to write this, all right? But you can see there is a fairly strong pattern to it. I'm sure you could figure it out. Um, you can see here that we, we're setting some variables at the top. All right, that's what this is doing. It's making some boxes, one called parents, for example, and it's putting the contents in there. Um, it's setting as a left to right uh, flowchart. That's what this is doing here. Um, and then here, it's basically, it's doing some tech checks, I think, to see if there's actually anything in their value. And then it's copying the values into the, the properties, or it's copying the properties into the variable, sorry. And then down here, this is adding the linking, all right, making all that work. Now down here as well, there's a bit here. So this is actually joining the nodes together dynamically, figuring all that out. So yeah, you just basically copy that into your note. That should be nice and simple. Um, I will let you know that this LR, you can change to TD. All right, and that will change it to a top-down directional chart. But as you can see, that takes up left to right more space. All right, it doesn't take up as much vertical space. So it's up to you really on which one you want to use. This might actually be easier at the table, right? Considering that, you know, you're probably wanting to get to the information below, who knows? Um, I've just gone with left, right, just because it like it, it's more visual on the screen at the whole time. Um, but it's up to you, really. I haven't found anything to sort of like squash it. I feel like it'd be nice if we could kind of like squish it a bit more and it might be possible, but I haven't found a way yet. Um, but yeah, you just basically paste that into your note, make sure that you've got those properties included in your note. And honestly, this thing should just start working for you. All right, it's very, very easy to, to pick up and get working. So yeah, anyway, if you would like a copy of this, you can head on over to the website. Um, obviously, obsidianttrpgtutorials.com. Um, you can just do a search for data view if you want, right? And the data view page will come up. And then from the data view page, it's linked down the bottom with the other data view JS things. All right, just click on that, go through, copy it into your notes. Um, alternatively, I will be updating the Patreon vault to include this new template as well, so you can get access to it from there. So anyway, that's pretty much it, right? It's, there's not much to it. Um, it's a very complex key, key piece of code that I've got no idea how it works. I'm not gonna even pretend to know how it works but it does work. And I think this is a really cool visualization. If you're one of these sort of people that really sorts to make really complex relationships inside of your games and you want to map them all out, you basically update your template, all right, to have one of these in it so that every time you create a new NPC, this is automatically in there. And then all you need to do is start coming through in here and typing the names of the relationships and it will automatically start to populate itself. And, you know, if you technically had one of these in every NPC, all right, kind of like this. Let's go to Jasmine. Let's say we were to put this in Jasmine's note. All right. So from Jasmine, we can basically click through and we can see the relationship there. Jasmine would have her own relationships to find, all right? And it will start to really create a map, right? Where you can basically jump around between the relationships, see who the children are, the parents. I don't know, maybe you go deeper with um, uh, other family members and stuff, who knows? But uh, yeah, anyway, there we go. That has been how to do dynamic mermaid relationship charts. I mean, not how to do it because I don't know how to write the code, but hopefully that's useful for you. Something you can put into your vault and off you go. Anyway, we'll leave you there. Have a great day and we'll speak to you on the socials. Enjoy.